A stark reminder of the impact the 2022-23 winter had on the Wyoming Range mule deer herd of western Wyoming, aerial population surveys now estimate the herd to number about 11,000 animals, considerably less than a February 2023 estimate of 30,000 deer. What does it mean for hunters in the short term and long term? Fawn ratios show 34 fawns for every 100 does. That's the lowest since the herd's designation in 1982. Buck ratios were lower, 24 bucks for every 100 does. A normal ratio is 30 to 45 bucks per 100 does. Game and Fish Deputy Wildlife Chief Doug Bremeyer says in the short term, hunters should keep in mind the herd's low population density. When doe deer are stressed from severe winter conditions, they may experience decreased reproductive success, leading to lower conception rates and reduced survival of newborns, causing a shift in the population's age structure. Long term, Bremeyer says there's reason for optimism. Yeah, and so far this winter, those deer are doing pretty well. They went into the winter in really good body condition. Um, and so we're, we're optimistic that reproduction is going to bounce up this year. But I think hunters need to keep in mind that uh, we had two years of loss of fawns and then low reproduction last spring. And so there's going to be a lag in that population as those buck numbers will be down and it'll take them a while to recover. Deer captured in the region by University of Wyoming researchers last December as part of an ongoing study since 2013 recorded the highest fat levels of the study, in part due to the increased forage and fewer deer on the landscape. Below average snows is helping them access important forage. The adjacent Sublette mule deer herd was not affected as strongly. Buck ratios there were 34 for 100 does and fawn ratios 60 for 100 does. Consecutive years of favorable weather patterns will be critical. Game and Fish continues investing in quality habitat to build resilient ecosystems. Along with partners, the department supports projects that prove effective in reducing deer vehicle collisions, controlling cheatgrass, managing predators, and facilitating seasonal migrations to important habitats. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.